The album is entitled Rise Up. As you say, it's a number one album. The fans are loving it. It's 15 new songs, and it's your first new album of new songs for a number of years. Was this album inspired based on events of the past four years, Cliff? No, the probably the uh, title song was, because... I thought they wrote it for me mm-hmm. because of what I'd been through. Yeah. And that's why it's it's always rise up. They're never going to break me down. They're never going to take me down. You know I'm going to rise up feeling stronger. It gave me something to really... Yeah, I got my teeth into it immediately. We're not going to linger on this at all, but I just need to ask you, how dark a time was that for you? Because I've just read a really fascinating and emotional interview with Paul Gambaccini in the, in the newspapers the other day, and he went through something similar. Yes, he um, did. And uh, he was in a really bad place, and he lost friends. Charity stepped away from him. He then found out who his friends really were. How tough and how dark a place was that for you, Sir Cliff, in the last four years? I don't have the words to describe what it feels like, and I can only try and say mm-hmm. that all I know is that I was on the floor weeping. I kept thinking, how do I, what do I do? It was like being sucked down in a thick quagmire of mud. And one of my friends said, what are you doing? And he said, get up. You didn't do this. Mm-hmm. You can, you will get through it. And it was the help of friends. And funnily enough, you mentioned Paul Gabaccini. Yes, he went through a similar thing. Uh, I mean, but he was arrested and yeah. oh, it was a terrible time for him. So he knew what I was going through. And he called me and he called me a number of times during that four-year period. Even now, we're still good friends. And we're now part of an army who will try constantly to change the rules. Yeah, good. Because uh, and he, he said to me, you know, you can... you." I think he told me that you might be one case too far, that the, 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 the system has gone too far in doing something to you that they're doing. And it turns out they were right, that, yeah. that he was right, that they, it, it didn't get through because people started to say, this is ridiculous. And, uh, and I've survived it, but it, I needed a lot of help, and he was a major help. I had a lot of friends that constantly came around to make sure I was okay. My family were always onto the emails and stuff, telling me, we're right behind you. No one believed it. And so it was a very, very deep, dark, difficult time. It's, it's nice to look back at it now and still be able to smile. I don't think I'll ever be completely over it, but mm-hmm. I'm past it. You, you, you said uh, an interesting thing there, that you survived it. Did you at any point in that four years think that you wouldn't survive it, Sir Cliff, that you, you, you couldn't take it anymore? There were moments, and I used to read, I saw stories in the papers about um, people that had gone to prison and then they had been found to be innocent. And mm-hmm. I'm thinking, oh, my God, I, could be go- I might go to prison. And you know, then they'll discover it's not true and I'll, and I'll be let out. But, so there were moments like that. But generally speaking... Can I, uh, can I ask you a very difficult question, Sir Cliff? Yeah. Did you ever consider ending it during that four years? Because I know many people who have been through that mindset because it's so yeah. hard, so difficult, so emotional that it, it, it just drives you round the bend. Did you no. ever get to that point, Sir Cliff? No, no. I thought I might die because I used to wake up at night and find my pulse pumping yeah. and thinking about this false accusation and the false accuser who I'll hopefully never know. Mm-hmm. And... Um, my heart would be banging. I'm thinking, oh, well, you know, it may not be the situation, but my heart might give out. So, no, I was never suicidal. I, I, I remained strong throughout it, but I needed the help to keep strong. And um, my friends stood by me all the way. And my fans were unbelievably behind me. And they let me know in no uncertain terms.